Oh, what the f is his name? Melissa. Your name is if you come to this neighborhood, we're going to keep an eye and the police will probably catch you. That's the message neighbors want to make loud and clear after getting the man who slashed dozens of tires in their East Austin neighborhood arrested. You know, the neighborhood did come together. But it wasn't easy. It all started Tuesday morning when this photo was sent out by a neighbor on a morning walk on a pedestrian bridge near I-35. The photo shows a man carrying a pole with a red handle, very similar to the one that was seen on surveillance footage. I immediately got in to my car and said, I know he's headed somewhere this way. 10 minutes after getting that photo, this neighbor who chose to remain anonymous for safety reasons says she felt compelled to find this guy who terrorized her neighborhood not even 48 hours prior. I went on a little bit of a stakeout and I knew he'd go to the Baptist Church feeding center and that's where I found him. And not even a mile away from the scene of the crime, this woman says she found him and immediately called 911. They told me to hang out, keep an eye out, do not move, do not approach him, keep us posted, we're headed your way. Almost the exact same response from dispatchers that neighbors had been getting since the start of reporting this incident. But for this neighbor, she could see him just sitting right there. I was trembling, absolutely shaking. This is not normal. You should not have to go out and fight crimes like this. But if I did not go out and fight that crime personally, we wouldn't have caught this guy. After 45 minutes, she says police came and caught the guy in the location she directed them to, an instant relief to her. I started crying, shaking. Uh, every night I lived in fear with this person. He's going to stab somebody. Forget a tire. She says she couldn't have done it without the help of her neighbors who banded together to find the tire slasher. As for the slow police response time, neighbors tell me it was frustrating, but they are not upset with how long it took APD to get out there. I want to commend the officers that caught him because they did a great job. But I want to say thank you for putting this news story out. These are the kind of things that go on for months and they don't catch the people. I hope that people can actually go to sleep tonight.